State tonight to a story you saw first on two a woman is now charged with a hate crime in connection with an attack on the owner of a beauty supply store. Keandra Young is one of two customers accused of assaulting Jung Kim on St. Patrick's Day. KPRC 2's Andy Sirota just spoke with the store's owner's son about this new development in the case. The owner's son says he and his family have received a lot of support from customers and the community since the attack on his mother. The woman accused of breaking her nose and leaving her bloodied and bruised now facing a hate crime enhancement on the existing assault charge against her. Now, about a month after the investigation was launched into the attack on his mother, beauty supply store owner Jung Kim, a grand jury determined the beating was motivated by racial bias and indicted one of the women, 24-year-old Keandra Young, for a hate crime. Sung Jun Lee, the owner's son, had this to say about the new development. I just want to justice. Get a punishment what they did. Let, not over, not let, just like exact among what they did. That's just what I believe in. That's what I want. Surveillance video from March 17th shows beauty supply store owner Jung Kim being punched in the face repeatedly by a customer who she says was hurling racial insults at her. Asian. Like, you little Asian oh. girl. That's what she remember. Dakisha Williams and Keandra Young, the two women charged in the attack, say they were being profiled, claiming Kim followed them and their friends when they went inside the store. They showed you certain clips of the video to make it seem like it was these angry black women just randomly attacking people, and that's not the case. Last month, we talked to Young, who was also accused of running over Kim's son and his father in the parking lot. If somebody's jumping in front of your car with a weapon and you're trying to bag up, I have somebody in the front of me and the back of me. I had no, I have no choice but to go forward. Lee, who denies all the women's claims, says his mom is doing better and they just want to put this all behind them. I don't really feel upset or sad, just like nothing because we're, we're in the, like, we're going back to a normal life. If she's convicted on the assault charge, Young could face 180 days up to a year in county jail because of the hate crime enhancement. In North Houston, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.